Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So my name is Carissa. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do movie reviews. I talk about TV shows. Really, I just talk about whatever is on my mind that day. Today, that is Bill and Ted's bogus journey. So I did a video on Bill and Ted's excellent adventure not long ago. So if you want to go check that out, go check that out. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So is the second movie as excellent as the first one? No, no it's not. I wish I could say it was, but I'll get into the reasons why a little bit later. Let's start off with the general plot of the movie. So basically we have Bill and Ted, they're still with their princesses, but the princesses get kidnapped by these evil robot versions of Bill and Ted. So Bill and Ted have to go on this epic journey to rescue their princesses. And along the way, they meet the Grim Reaper, who is a great character. He's a lot of fun. He's play obsessed with playing games, and Bill and Ted have to try to beat him at the games. And he goes on their journey with them, which is really hilarious. And they meet other weird and wonderful characters along the way. But the thing that I didn't like with this is the darker storyline. So there's themes of death, heaven, and hell in this, and... It just felt really unnecessary for a Bill and Ted movie that's meant to be just lighthearted and goofy. That's what I loved about the first movie. It was just so funny. And in, you know, today's day and age, especially in 2020, it was really good to watch something. It was just straight up just fun and lighthearted. But the second movie, it gets more into that real world sort of heaviness. Well, you know what I mean. And I just felt like it was a little bit unnecessary, but it was still a good movie. I was never bored in this movie. And I feel like the whole movie is sort of gearing up for this epic showdown, which they have at the concert at the end of the movie with... So there's these like good versions of Bill and Ted robots and bad evil versions of Bill and Ted robots and they have to fight each other, and then there's the actual Bill and Ted and the princesses, and it's just chaotic and crazy and pure, pure 80s nostalgia Bill and Ted. And that's one of the things I love about these movies is the 80s nostalgia. It just really, it really sets the theme of the movie. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they make the third movie without the 80s nostalgia in it which I will be reviewing later today, so please watch out for my review on that. So overall, I do prefer the first one. I feel like this was just taken in an unnecessary direction, but it was still, like I said, I wasn't bored. It was still a good movie. I would give this a C ranking. So it's not something I would say you should go out of your way to see. If it was in a cinema, I would not say go spend money on it. But it's definitely worth seeing at some point. So like I said, please subscribe if you haven't. Like, share. You know the drill by now. Yada, yada, yada. Thank you.